Hey, hello for everybody all over the world. Today we are going to talk about it, uh, Unit 2, a reading challenge book, uh, which tells us about it, uh, food first, yeah. So, now, you can look at this picture carefully. What can you see? Yeah, I can see some food. That's right. So, we can give some answers for reading questions now. Think about the following questions. Number one. What's your favorite food? Yeah. As first you should know, answers will vary here. Or answers here will vary. Yeah, that's right. About myself. My favorite food is a chicken. Another one may say, my favorite food is Cajun chicken salad. Yeah, that's right. Okay. The next question. Number two. What's the most unusual food you have eaten? What's the most unusual food you have eaten? About myself. The most unusual, yeah, food I have eaten, the most unusual food I have eaten is Ebrit Yes, it's right. Another one may, or another one may say, the most unusual food I have eaten is fried insects. Oh my God, yeah, that's right. But not luck. Number three, what type of food can you cook? What type of food can you cook? Yeah, I can cook many kinds of dishes. Uh, like, so we, we can say, uh, like pasta, yeah, omelette, yes, it's right, mahshi, uh, uh, Chicken, salad, whatever, blah, blah, blah. Okay, yes, yeah, that's right. Yeah. So, uh, answers here, well valid. Yes, yeah, that's right. The Nikki Sabart, vocabulary, preview. Write the letter of the word or phrase with the same meaning as the underlined word or phrase. Look at these uh, phrases or words. The letter A, almost or close to. The letter B, as said by. The letter C, actually, really. The letter D, first shot or game. The letter E, have the flavor of. The letter F, make, yeah. Now, let's begin to answer about these questions. Number one. Chefs today create new dishes by putting together interesting food. Yes. Again, chefs today create new dishes by putting together interesting foods. So, what does it mean create here? Yeah. Make, that's right. So, Create to make something. The letter F is the best answer for number one. Yes, that's right. Number two. In reality, carry comes from England, not India. So what does it mean in reality? Yeah. Actually or really. So the best answer for Number uh, two is the uh, or letter C is the best answer for number two. Yes, that's right. The letter C for number two. Number three. According to this book, people in England the cock carry dishes in the 13 uh, or 1300s. Yes, that's right. According to, what does it mean according to? Yeah. As said by. So, 
The letter B is the best answer for number three. Yeah, that's right. Number four, people in Persia ate pizza nearly. 1,000 years before people in Italy. So, what does it mean nearly? Nearly, to plus two, yes, yeah, that's right, or almost, that's right, excellent. So, the letter A is the best answer for number four. When I say nearly, like exactly, almost, uh, close to, yes, yeah, right. Number five, some kinds of curry taste hot, so some people don't like them. So, what does it mean taste? To have a flavor, or to have the flavor of uh, some food, yes, that's right. Okay, so, the letter E is the best answer for number five. The last one, number six. Sailors from Europe introduced the new foods to Americans. What does it mean introduced? Here, yeah. to be first something, to be first shot or gave, uh, yes, that's right. First shot or gave, uh, uh, like introduced, yes, that's right. So, the letter D is the best uh, letter D, yeah. It's the best answer for number six. That's right. Now, we can read uh, our passage today, which tells us about it for the first as uh, a title. Yeah. Let's begin. How much do you know about the history of some of your favorite uh, foods? How much do you know about the history of some of your favorite foods? Do you know when people in England started cooking curry dishes? Do you know in which country pizzas or hamburgers were first made? The facts might surprise you here. Yeah. Really, the facts will surprise you after reading. Let's you know. Many people think the English found out about curry from people in India in the 1600s. In reality, wealthy English people were eating dishes made with curry spices hundreds of years before British chefs traveled to India. Cocks of wealthy English families during the time of King Richard, I were making curry dishes, and in fact, the word curry can be found in, in an English language, cock back as far back as 1377. As for pizzas, the, this dishes, or this, sorry, yeah, this dish was probably first made in Persia, what is now Iran. The Persians were eating round, uh, eating round flat, flat bread with cheese in the 500s. That was nearly 1,000 years before pizza caught on in Naples, Italy. Finally. Let's look at the truth behind hamburgers. Many people think hamburgers are an American food. However, according to some stories, hamburgers came from Hamburg, Germany. A German named Otto Gausso created the first the hamburger in 1891. Four years later, German sailors introduced the hamburgers to Americans. Here. Yeah. Where foods come from is nearly as important as how they taste, as long as they are delicious. So, go get 
some of your favorite food in dig in yeah that's right now let's study some idioms which are based on our passage today or our reading yeah as you see first word wealthy what does it mean wealthy yeah rich yes right to be rich wealthy the next spice what does it mean spice a thing used or added to make food uh, taste good the next one language what does it mean language way of speaking by a certain country or group of people the next dish what does it mean dish yeah food as food yes it's right something uh, that we can uh, bought food in yes it's right or uh, bought food on yes it's right dish truth what does it mean truth fact or reality yes it's right truth fact yes it's right the last one sailor what does it mean sailor a person who works on chaps uh, yeah that's right uh, now uh, let's begin to uh, let's begin to uh, answer about some uh, questions uh, which are based on uh, our reading comprehension today as first yeah uh, choose the best answer number one as you see number one uh, what uh, is the main idea of this reading? Uh, the letter A, curry was created in England. The letter B, there are many foods uh, that help your body. The letter C, people created fast food long ago. Or letter D, some facts about foods are surprising. Yeah, the letter D is the best answer for number one. Uh, yeah, the main idea of this reading today, uh, uh, some factors about foods are surprising. Okay, number two, which is probably true about it, Pretch uh, carry dishes in the 1400s. The letter A, the dishes did not have meat. The letter B, the spices cost uh, a lot. The letter C people ate curry on special days. The letter D British sailors first made curry. Yeah. The letter B is the best answer for number two. Yeah. That is the spices cost a lot. Yeah. The spices cost a lot. Yes, yeah, it's right. The spices Coast alone. Number three. What did people in Naples learn from Persians? The letter A, how to make pizza. The letter B, how to cook cheese. The letter C, how to use spices from Iran. The letter D, how to make flatbread. Yeah. You're right. The letter A is the best answer for number three. That is how to make, uh, yes, that's right, how to make pets. Uh. Number four. Who introduced hamburgers to America? Bergens? Otto Guasso? C. Italians? D. German servers? Yeah. The letter D is the best answer for number four uh, German sellers. Number five, and the last one here. Which food was probably made first? Which food uh, was probably made first? Hamburgers? Cheese virgin bread? Italian pizza? Italian pizza, 
or English uh, caring. She's a Belgian bread. Yes, that's right. So number B is the best answer for number five. Yes, that's right. Now we can learn about idiomatic expressions. So find these idioms in the reading. Find out or find about. What does it mean find out or find about? To learn of. So when I say find out like exactly to learn of, yeah, that's right. The next one, catch on. What does it mean catch on? To become popular. To become popular. The last one, begin. Yes, yeah, that's right. To begin eating with excitement. To begin eating with excitement. Yeah. To quickly. To be excitement. Yeah. Begin. Yes, yeah, that's right. To begin eating with excitement. So, find out. As for example, hey, I just found out that class uh, is uh, cancelled tomorrow. Catch on. As for example, about it uh, or for it, yes, right. In the 1990s, cell phones really caught on. Dig in. The child, as for example, yeah, the child was very hungry. So, Dug in before his parents sat down. Okay. Uh, now you can uh, answer or give uh, uh, answers or the correct answers for these uh, questions as your homework today. The next one. Uh, so, uh, as you see, Scan the passage and complete the chart with the correct information. We have a Mr. Some information now. Yes, that's right. We have some information. Yeah, as summary. As uh, we see 1377. I uh, created. The next column 1891 introduced 500 wealthy. As you see, carry. Yes, that's right. Pizza. Hamburgers. Yeah. So. Were already in the English language by carry is word already in the English language by yeah 1377 the next one number two cocked for cocked for space English families wealthy Yes, that's right. Wealthy. Wealthy. The best answer for number two. Cocked for wealthy English families. The next uh, column about it uh, tells us about uh, pizza food. For number three, space and bird. Pizza, yeah, this right, created in Persia. Was eaten uh, in Persia in the, yes, this right, 500s. 500s, this is the best answer for number four here. Hamburgers, third food, hamburgers. The best answer for number five, which is, let's read, Space 2, Americans buy German sailors. Yeah, hamburgers, introduced, yes, yeah, that's right, introduced to Americans buy German sailors. 
the next or the last one first meet in Hamburg but yes about hamburgers first meet in Hamburg in yes that's right 1890 uh, or 1891 yes that's right uh, the best answer for number uh, six now uh, let's study or uh, let's uh, uh, give uh, answers uh, for uh, the next uh, questions. Yeah. Now let's begin to discuss uh, the following uh, questions uh, as you see here. Yeah. Uh, number one. What are your favorite foods from other countries? Uh, where are they uh, from? Uh, yeah, this is right. We can say... Uh, as far as the uh, answers, well, also vary here, yeah. But as a suggestion, my favorite foods from other countries are Tom Yang soup and fried noodles. Tom Yang soup is from Thailand and fried noodles are from Hong Kong, yeah, that's right. The next one, question number two. What are some traditional foods in your country? What are some traditional foods in your country? Some traditional foods from Egypt are uh, mahshi, yeah, zray, koshari, Besara, cash, blah blah blah. Okay, that's right. Number three, uh, or the last question Do you know any untrue stories about foods that people uh, believe? If so, what is the truth? Yeah, one untrue story. People believe is that spaghetti was first made in Italy. But in fact, noodles were first made in China. Yeah, that's right. Now, uh, let's uh, study the next part. Uh, yeah, that's right today. The last part today, vocabulary and uh, idiom uh, review. Yeah, that's right. Choose the best word or phrase to fill in the blank. Number one. The man who owns the three hotels is very comfortable, tired, unique, wealthy. Yeah. A man who owns the uh, three hotels must be wealthy. Yes, that's right. So, the letter D is the best answer for number one wealthy number two people think snakes uh, are dangerous space uh, most snakes are not i usually finally first or surprising yeah surprising the letter d is the best answer for number two yeah the next one uh, number three. He knows uh, space all of uh, his relatives' birthdays, except for his aunt or, uh, or so sorry, and uncles. Yeah, that's right. He knows uh, space all of his relatives' birthdays, except for his uh, aunt uh, and uncles. Yeah. In reality, before, nearly, uh, behind. Yeah, the best uh, uh, answer for number three, nearly. Yeah, that's right. Nearly. Uh, he knows nearly all of his relatives' birthdays except for his aunt and uncles. Yes, that's right. Excellent. Uh, the, uh, yeah, the next one, uh, number four. Space my mother washing clothes by hand is better than using a washing machine. A washing machine, yeah. According to before, after, in reality. Number four, 
Yeah. A. According to is the best answer for number four. To say according to my mother, washing clothes by hand is better uh, than using a washing machine or a washing machine. Yeah. Number five. This soup does not spice uh, right. Did you forget to add uh, an onions? The leader A. Cock B. Make C. Create D. Test Yeah. The best answer for number uh, for, uh, five is letter D. Taste, yeah. The soup uh, does not taste uh, right. Yes, it's right. Taste uh, right. Did you forget to put in uh, onions? Yeah. Number six. I do not have enough space to make uh, this dish. Far, hamburgers, stories, spices. Here, yeah, number six. The letter D, spices, is the best answer for number six. The next one, number seven. We space how the magician did the amazing track. Created, found out, introduced, or thought. Yeah. The best answer for number seven is the letter D. Uh, sorry, the letter B, they found out, yeah, as you see, uh, yes, that's right. Uh, the letter B is the best answer, found out, we found out it, uh, the magician did the amazing track. The next part here, choose the correct from of the word to fall in the man. Number eight, I made this uh, sculpture it is my space. Uh, creation creates uh, creator. Yeah, sculpture is my creation. Yes, that's right. The letter A is the best answer for number eight. Yes, yeah, that's right. Number nine. How does uh, it taste? Please tell me space. Uh, if it is God or bad, tell me the truth, true, truthful, truth, yes, yeah, that's right, tell me the uh, th uh, truth, uh, truth, uh, folly, yes, yeah, that's right, truth, folly, that's right, uh, number C, the best answer, not truth uh, or true, but they must tell me uh, the truthfully, uh, yes, right. Uh, if it is good or bad, yes, that's right. Truthfully, the letter C is the best answer for number nine. Not truth, not true, yeah. Number ten, let me space you to my cousin. Introduction, introduce, uh, introduced. Yeah, and let me introduce, let me bless uh, the infinitive or simple form of the verb, introduce, yeah. Introduce uh, here is the best answer for number uh, 10, to say, let me you to my uh, cousin. Uh, so, uh, recently uh, we have uh, ended uh, uh, our video, yes, uh, our lesson today, uh, so, I can say goodbye for everybody and many thank you uh, for you.